Hi, my name is Richard Pennycook and welcome to Export Kit. In this example, I'll be demonstrating a PHP output using Lightning Storm for the Creative Cloud. So let's go ahead and let's take a look. Now, normally with our HTML exports, uh, what would happen is that you can basically design with your footer, your content, and your header respectively. And this will be reflective in your actual design itself. So you'll see that we have our header here, we have our content here, and we have our footer here. Now, what happens with PHP is that because it is a very dynamic environment, what we do is we allow you to both build PHP modules and full websites. And to do this, there are basically two simple differences. Now, if you want to create a full PHP website, what you're going to have to do is include a page footer. You're going to have to ensure that you have this and also a page header. This will be required to basically denote uh, the HTML content that will give it the style sheet and also any required scripts that you might have include in your, included in your HTML head. Now if you don't include the header and the footer pages what will happen is that PHP output will assume that you want to build a module so it will give you all the files and content required for basically just cutting and pasting uh, this uh, your output into any environment. So what we can do now is after our pages the next step with PHP is that we can actually now add initializer tags now initializers are files basically that PHP can parse at any given time so what happens is export kit will parse the initializer at runtime and allow you to add custom options so similar to our WordPress output what we have is we have our INI tag and it will basically allow you to give it an ID and a title for the individual option so you must have a unique uh, ID and we suggest that a unique title should be used as well now this INI option will be reflective in your output where for instance the end user or another developer can basically edit this option rather than editing the code itself and there's various options that we support so for text we'll be able to change the content had this been a shape it would have been the color or if it was an image we would have been able to shape the uh, change the actual image URL so let's go ahead and let's export this now and let's take a look at how this is outputted with the PHP output and lightning store Now what we want to do is we want to enable relative positions and layer effects. If you go over to our output environment, uh, make sure we have page tags enabled, otherwise it will assume that you basically want a module rather than an entire website. And we can go ahead and export this as normal. Now, because PHP works similar to HTML5, you can include any HTML5 settings or options, and this will uh, basically render in the output uh, similar as our actual HTML5 environment. So what we're going to do is we're going to just speed this up uh, with the magic of video just so we can actually see the output itself. Once our output is complete, what we want to do is take a look at the actual project files itself in a browser. So we can just open up our web browser and navigate to the folder. Now if we go to our PHP folder, you'll see that it created the required PHP files and our header and our footer is there based on our actual settings. And it also gave us an INI file. So we're going to take a look at each of these just to basically see how they work with Export Kit. Now an important thing is you cannot simply open a PHP page. That will not work. So if you were to double click this or load this into the browser, it will tell you effectively that you are basically not able to open this page. Now we do have a file link on this because this is rendering HTML the browser itself will try to render the HTML that is located in the actual file but it will not load it as PHP is loaded uh, via a server so what we can do is we know our actual path uh, this is on a local host and you must use a host with PHP so we can just change this and you'll see that now the entire page will render correctly like it should with PHP so this is very important you must use a local host when you're using PHP outputs uh, PHP does not work in the browser as a file so, and this is not uh, the rule with HTML HTML can load basically anywhere now if we look at the PHP output you'll see it rendered our PSP basically pixel perfect what we want to do now is take a look at the actual source code itself to see how this differs 
Now you can open up your text editor of choice. Uh, we're using Sublime here. So if we go ahead and first off, let's take a look at the INI file that's created. So you'll see with our initializer file, what it did is it basically gave us the options that are set in our PSD uh, based on the actual design itself. So now the end user can simply change any of the content here rather than actually editing the code itself. So let's go ahead and let's take a look really quick at some of the stuff we can change. So we see that we have we provide uh, better service for your digital needs. So let's go ahead and let's just change that really quick. Uh, so let's find that we provide better service for your digital needs. Uh, we are the best. So let's save this and let's go back to our web page. Let's refresh and you'll see that it's simply changed. So this makes it great when you have your clients and they basically want to change content. You can give them an INI file where they can edit and modify the content rather than changing the code itself. So that way they don't mess with the design. This works also equally if you have developers that uh, you work hand in hand with where you might want some content for them to change but others respectively they can just use the INI file. Now the next step that we want to do is we want to take a look at the code of the actual PHP content itself. So let's go ahead and let's uh, open up the file. Now you'll note that basically what it does is it will include the header and you'll see here that it's error free and it will also uh, include the footer respectively so this is why we suggest that you create these pages this is what will render your entire web page now had we not included this it would have assumed that we are using a module basically so uh, if that wasn't there and the header itself it would have assumed that we we're using a module and it basically you could just cut and paste this into any environment now what this will do is it will render your HTML content and also include a local style sheet so that way your styles are maintained uh, but again now because this is PHP if you were to use our code tag with your content you can further customize your PHP uh, in unlimited ways so this is just a basic rendering using our new PHP output let's actually go ahead and take a look at the header and footer also just so we can see how they all rendered so this is our header content so you'll see that the elements that were contained in our header they are also included uh, but it also has the doc type which is the initial HTML requirements and also the INI parsing as well as your head elements you'll see that our footer all the individual Photoshop elements they're also included along with our closing HTML and body tag so this is why we mentioned that if you do not include your pages it will simply assume that you're loading this into a module